Hey guys, so um, it's been a while since I vlogged or anything. I thought maybe I would do a day in the life of a diabetic video this time. So like, so today my blood sugar was pretty good. I was like 117 or something. And for some reason my body's been acting kind of weird for the past few days. This would usually never happen, but my blood sugar has been going high and it's unusual and it's just like, I don't understand it. Why I don't is because I would never usually experience this. I didn't start experiencing this every month until this year started. And then I started having spikes and it's just, it, it would last for like a week. I think the first time that it started, uh, my blood sugars would always go up to like the 300s and it was really unusual and it would be very difficult to get down and it would always start at around late at night and I uh, I don't know I don't know why that happened it was just it was high all day or not all day but it was like high for like most of the day like in the afternoon and then at night time and it would be super difficult to get down I would always just keep going up and up and up no matter how much insulin I was putting in I kept drinking water and all that other stuff and it just it was scary it was like a scary week in January I think it was like the beginning of January is when it started like somewhere around the beginning I think like uh, whew, I don't know like the 9th or 10th probably that was the scariest and the most difficult one to deal with that was it was a going crazy for like maybe seven or ten days until I finally got it all settled out once my cycle started. So just weird. I've never experienced anything like that before when my cycle was coming. That is, I just can't, I, I don't know. I mean, I know other diabetics have went through that before, but never in my life I don't think I've ever really experienced that until this year. And so now it just happens every month. Right now, it's like a, yesterday, uh, I like had a waffle, or had a couple waffles, and I treat it for the usual amount that I would treat for like my waffles and stuff. And then for some reason, my blood sugar shop jelly in the 300s, and I was like, that's really strange. And it's just, I guess, I don't know, I guess another cycle's coming? I don't know if this is normal. I don't, I, I mean, I guess, I guess it's normal. But my body has never really experienced this before until this year, and it's just so weird. Right now, my blood sugar is at uh, 222 right now. See it right there? I've been trying to get it under control, but it's been so difficult, and I really want to exercise, but I can't at the moment because it's a little too high. And if I exercise right now, well, I, mean, I, I could just walk. Walk, as long as it's not like hard exercises then I guess I should be fine but it's like I don't know it's just really weird it's I guess my cycle is coming I don't know I don't remember when it started last month I think it was around the 10th or the 11th but yeah every month now I have to deal with it which is difficult and I'll have to double the correction for whatever I have and I can't quite have too much sugar or it's going to just spiral out of control so it's just I need to just not have too much <laughs> but yeah it's just really irritating and I don't know how to I mean I'm learning how to properly deal with it like, uh, I'll double the correction, or and I'll raise the basal rates, and once the blood sugar shows that it's improving after the cycle starts, then I just lower down the basal rates again, and, you know, everything is back to normal. It's just, it's so weird. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I, like, is anybody diabetic out there that has that weird experience too? Like, you haven't experienced it before until like some sort of year started and then it just kind of like spiraled. I don't know if it's gonna just be for this year or if it's going to last for a little bit or if like it's gonna last forever. <laughs> it might and I might have to just kind of figure all that stuff out and just be prepared for whenever it happens again. It's just weird. I just want to exercise because I, I gotta go change my uh my sensor today but I want to exercise before it ends and unfortunately I guess I can't do that today again 
Like, I couldn't exercise yesterday because I was way too sleep-deprived, and now I just can't exercise today. And it sucks. It's going to be, like, three days in a row because on Saturday it was just my original day off. Sunday I was way too sleep-deprived, and today my blood sugar is just too high, and I feel kind of sick. And it's just... Ugh. I think maybe maybe I'll do it in the evening, perhaps once after I change my sensor. It should be okay. Um, I can get a little bit of exercises in once my blood sugar settles down. It's just a little out of control at first, especially at nighttime. I mean, not it's not like out of control at nighttime, but at nighttime, it sort of goes up a bit. So I catch it, and my blood sugar is pretty good for the rest of the night. As long as I only treat for like 0.85 units, then like. Not like 85, but like 0. 0.85. <laughs> That's close to a unit of insulin. <laughs> 85 units, oh my gosh, that would be yeah. deadly. <laughs> but yeah, so let's just hope that I'm not too, too high for too long. And that this all sort of just settles down once the cycle reaches, and or once I reach my cycle. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep track of this in a calendar because this is just ridiculous. Because <laughs> this happens every month now, and I'm just like, what? I mean, well, I don't know if that happened last month. Did I, I ever did? It either didn't happen last month or it didn't happen in March. Or was it? No, no, no. It was probably February. No, no, never mind. I had that in February. <laughs> I think. You know what? No, maybe I didn't. Anyways. I'll uh, update you guys a little later, and then maybe uh, I'll just change my sensor and whatnot. I'll show you the process, I guess. And yeah. All right. So here's the sensors right here. I just gotta put this on my uh, stomach, or I usually put it on my stomach. Some people would put it on like their inner thighs or their arms. I'm not sure how that feels comfortable on the inner thigh. <laughs> Or do they like place them more in the outer? I don't know, but it's like it's just how it is. All right, so I took off um, the one that's on those right here. Now we're just gonna place it over here, and here's the sensor right here that I took off. Yes, the spot is cleaned, and we should be fine to put this in. <laughs> Let me just get this started here. Right, so here's what it looks like. Let me just take off the little. Um, things here. You know, first, uh, peel these off. There's two of them. All right. Now fold the shirt, and we're gonna put this in. Uh, maybe like right here. This is probably not a good spot, but oh well, it's in. So uh, now we just take this off, and we click the orange button. So now it's in, and you just like do circular motion. I would recommend just washing your hands before doing this first, so you don't like get it all dirty and stuff. <laughs> and, uh, and then we just put the sensor in right here. Two little clicks, do that. Yeah. So what I usually do is to start new sensor. You just click that, do one and two. And then it will tell you to enter the code, and I'm gonna have to uh, enter this for a sec. It's a number code, so you just have to add in like four numbers. All right. So once that's done, there will be a green check mark when you press next, and it just says this: insert the transmitter and uh, attach transmitters. See product instructions for details. And then you just click next. And then what you're just gonna do, since we already changed it, we're just gonna start the sensor. So there's one and two again. Click one, two, starting sensor. And it'll take about two hours for it to connect. I know that there is a faster, I know that there was this one trick, I guess, that you could make it go faster, but I don't want to test that out. I, mean, I never tested it out because it just seems kind of, kind of risky. I don't want to, I don't want to do that, so. So yeah, see, look, we got the sensor in. I gotta clean this stuff off, but yeah, we got the sensor in, so it's good. 
Now we wait two hours. And yes, my blood sugar is still unfortunately high. Unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so while my sensor is trying to reconnect, I am going to test the blood sugar on this. On my one touch Vario IQ. And uh, here's the test strips for it. And my poker. So we're gonna see what my blood sugar reads after I test it. Okay. All right, so it's at 161. So, uh, um, hopefully it's not dropping because there's still like, uh, I'm gonna have to check my uh, pump for a sec. There's about 1.26 units left. I think that'll open. Focus. There we go. Yeah, one. No, 1.28 units. Oh gosh. Alright, yeah. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna turn off the insulin. Um because I you know. I mean if it is dropping I'll feel it. So there's no worries. And uh yeah. <laughs> At least I went down finally. So that would explain why I'm hungry. Especially with that much insulin going for you which can cause you to feel very hungry. I don't know why. I don't know what's in the insulin that makes you hungry. Because it's just draining or something. Ow, and I poked my thumb with a needle and yeah, that hurt. <laughs> All right, so it's around, uh, it's almost eight o'clock. Oh, now it just turned eight. All right. <laughs> it's around eight o'clock and um, the sun is setting. <laughs> I'm just having some yogurt and some peanuts. Hold on. Just gotta get those. There we go. I did have chicken earlier. Um, ate it. <laughs> and I'm watching Rugrats. I really do love Rugrats. I've been watching the show for years. I love it so much. It's like my childhood. I was thinking of buying like um, the DVD sets. Oh. Thought it'd be kind of cool. Oh, I just realized it's May the 4th, so like, may the 4th be with you. <laughs> I was able to exercise. It went pretty well. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was a short kind of exercise day, though, because I wanted to... I had some other stuff to focus on, such as my drawings and my stories. But other than that, the exercises were great. They were very good. And I took little Frankie out. He accidentally pooped on the floor, but that's okay. And then I finished my drawing, got something to eat, like maybe an hour later after the exercise. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm just gonna eat the rest of my meal and, uh, I don't know, maybe get back to you guys tonight. Um, wait, I gotta show you my blood sugar, don't I? Ugh, it's a diabetic vlog, of course. My blood sugar's been much better. It's at 98. Um, from what the chart shows over here. Oh, you know, I lost connection. <laughs> oh, wait, no, never mind. That's when I had to change the sensor. All right. Sorry, it's a bit blurry. It's not like. <laughs> it's just. All right, there we go. Now, now you can see it better. Yeah, the chart looks pretty good. Very good. Um, anyways, I'm going to go eat the rest of my dinner and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Like, sometime tonight. Still 2.7 units going through. I know it was. Oops, sorry. The black on the microphone did not mean to do that. I know that it was going high. All I ate was yogurt and peanuts and chicken. And those have a lot of protein. They don't really have too much carbs in them at all. And for some reason, my blood sugar decided to just go high. 170 and it said that it kept going up and it's just it's been such a pain but uh, let's check what it is right now I don't remember how many units I put in I think it was like two point something units right, let's just see what it is all right right now it's at 145 focus there we go all right so it's going down and uh 
I don't know if I'll go low, I probably will, but we're almost in the 200s. It's just wacky. But yeah, I'm guessing that, that my cycle's probably coming in. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm, I've been craving a Mickey waffle all day, and I've been badly wanting one. But my blood sugar has just been, ugh, it has not been good enough for a Mickey waffle. And it's finally at like, I mean, not that I couldn't get it under control the first time when I was in the 200s for a couple hours, it's just, it keeps going back up and it's just, so, this is a good thing that I raised the basil rice and stuff, and the, yeah, uh, I'm just, I'm just craving a Mickey waffle. We have sugar-free syrup, but I'm just afraid that my blood sugar is just going to go through the roof and... I'm not going to be able to get back down for the rest of the night or something. And, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll try it out and document what happens, but, I don't know, we'll see. Alright, so today was a pretty alright day, even though my blood sugars were, like, out of control, but that's fine. So, the last reading for today is... 87 and I just had a donut uh, not too long ago so I don't know how my blood sugar is gonna react to that even though like I probably shouldn't be eating sugars but it was a pretty good donut <laughs> it's just it was a small donut it's like 24 carbs it's not bad and the sugars I think were like 12 so not too bad but uh Anyways, so I'm feeling very tired. I feel dizzy. I think I'm just over exhausted. <sighs> My body's taken a lot today. <laughs> I mean, not too much, I guess. It's like, I mean, yeah, I had my highs and I had my lows today. So my blood sugars would normally, I mean, it would rarely go high now, but I guess since my cycle's coming, it's going high, so <laughs> pretty cute. It's so cute. Anyways, so that's about it for the vlog. I hope you guys like it. I mean, I don't know if I should do more of this. I mean, I'm planning on maybe doing it like when we go out, uh, when we finally can get out of the house, and uh, show you guys like how my blood sugars react during when we're uh, during when I'm out with like family members and stuff. So. If, uh, if they don't feel too awkward with it, I don't know. I'm always, like, really shy of recording in front of them or talking in front of the iPad. Um, but, yeah. So, I've been drawing all, d all day. I've been writing. I've been watching Rugrats. I've been hanging out with my dog. I've been treating my blood sugars. I've been exercising. Or I was exercising for a bit, like, 30 minutes. Um, what else was I doing? I did, did quite a bit today, so today was pretty nice. I don't know, tell me in the comments what you guys did today for like May the 4th. Uh, I keep saying um and uh. <laughs> uh um. <laughs> it's because I don't know what else to say. I'm just tired. But uh, anywho, I'm just gonna get some sleep real soon. And uh, hey, there you go again. <laughs> I'm just gonna get some sleep real soon and just relax because I'm just tired and busy. So, hey. Anyways, I'll see you guys some other time. And, uh, yeah. Hope you guys have a good day and let me know what you guys did in the comments below. Uh, if you watched, like, Star Wars movies like my mom and my brother did. Or if you, like, just, I don't know, ate junk food or did nothing and I don't know whatever it is just tell me in the comments below see you guys later bye